Hey, YouTube. Korg has released Odyssey, which is a recreation of a recreation of a classic 70s analog synthesizer. And it's pretty awesome. Like, I, I know a lot of people out there saying, how many synths do we really need? Why do we keep retreading the uh, old synths? But this is a unique one in that it provides the sound design options at a very raw sort of level. Um, it's fun. It's a lot of fun to play with. And I've got to load it loaded up in Gadget here uh, because you can load it up in Gadget. I think most people are going to end up doing it that way. But uh, by virtue of it being in Gadget, I can do things like load up multiple instances of it and a drum machine. So I get some basic patterns set up so that I'm not hitting the same key over and over again. And I want to build up a, uh, a little song here with the uh, Odyssey, which is called Lexington, inside a Gadget. So uh, I'm going to start off with a bass. Um, Got a simple bass line in here already. And obviously the first thing that I tend to do is try to um, tweak the oscillators and, and get some sort of grungy, dirty thing going on. So I'm gonna switch VCO2 so that we're hearing it just as the square. You get to select here in the mixer which oscillator you which oscillator type you want to hear from each individual oscillator. And you can mix and blend them together like that. But I'm going to start off with just one oscillator to start, and I'm going to um, tweak this now. I've got uh, oscillator 2 is what we're hearing right now, and it's in a square, so we can do some interesting stuff with pulse width. Um, so actually, before I do that, I want to change the way that we're hearing it uh, right now it's triggering the voltage controlled ampl amplifier with the AR envelope um, but there is no release so let's give it a little release and we're hearing no filtering let me filter it a little bit and I'm gonna switch it to filter type 2 which has a deeper uh, band cut so you're barely hearing that. Now I got to bring in uh, the ADSR as a control source for the VCF, the voltage controlled filter. So I'm going to do that. Bring it down a bit. Give it a little bit of resonance. I don't want it to be squelchy, but I, I want it to have a little bit of a, a peak. All right, now we got the, the shape of the sound. Let's tweak the tone of the sound with the pulse width modulator. And you'll notice that you can choose how the pulse width is being modulated either by LFO or the ADSR. And I'm gonna switch to the ADSR which we just assigned to do that really short decay so that we've got the same decay affecting the filter and the pulse width. And we can do some weird shit with this. I'm just play around with it and find something that I like. Definitely liked it down at the lower end. And now I'm going to switch into bringing in uh, VCO1. And now I'm going to stop playing with it because that sounds really good right there. I may come back to revisit this, but let's let's say the bass is done. And uh, I'll mute that. Actually, let's listen to that with some drums. can probably tweak that filter a little bit. Just a little bit more decay here. Alright, I like how that's sounding, so I am going to mute that. 
and I'm going to switch over to the drums and mute that. And now I got a second instance uh, that's once again uh, just doing a uh, um, the init patch. And for this one, got a slightly more advanced uh, lead uh, pattern already pre programmed into it. This one, though, I'm going to start off with the effects, because there's this whole huge sweeping array of effects. Uh, so let's start off with some distortion. I really want to show you this off. This has got uh, a great tone slider here. So if you're looking for a darker sound, you can bring it down. If you want it a little bit uh, shrill, you can bring it up here. I like that. Um, Bring in some delay because that's fun, but I want to bring it down tight. All right, so it's a short delay. I'm gonna bring down the level of that just a little bit. And um, maybe some reverb here. I'm maxing out the mix so I'm just hearing the reverb right now, and I can pick where I want the tone of this to be. And uh, some phaser. Uh, it's kind of a weird thing to include here, but it's fun. So I'm going to do that. Uh, drop the depth a bit. Just giving it a little bit of motion there. All right. And now I'm going to swap over into the... Oh, yeah. I should probably sit... Uh, how I'm going to be controlling this. So uh, once again, I'm going to use the AR for the amplifier. So if I wanted to, I'd, I'd be giving it release or attack. Oops. I feel like you shouldn't be hearing it right now because that attack is so massive. Why is it? Oh, well, moving on. Uh, I am going to now uh, swap into um, I'm trying to think of what I want to do with this. It, it's it's already got so much character, and I haven't changed the um, VCOs at all. So uh, let me listen to just one of them right now. All right, this is going to go off the rails right now. Uh, I am going to keep it in the first uh, VCF type because this one is shrill and it can do. You hear that? It's starting to get really uh, uh, self oscillating. So I am going to now pump this with the ADSR. That is sounding really good. So now I'm bringing in the uh, other parts here. And now I can start playing around with this as it is because oh my god like that it was that simple this has been less than 15 minutes i've already got the makings of something right here bring it down to get some of the bass in now, the bass isn't low enough fortunately there's a 
Oh, that's too low. All right, I'll have to do this uh, manually. Um, that's a little bit of a pain in the ass, but. to here and play with my lead. You hear that right, right now? I'm just playing with two knobs and oh my God, entire worlds are opening up. bringing it down here we can get a little bit of the bass in I'm not happy with the bass right now but I'm having a lot of fun with this so I'm gonna keep playing with this and you'll recall like I haven't played around with any of the settings for the VCOs here this is all just like the raw sound with effects and uh, I forget how I left the oscillators. Uh, we're listening to a square with a little bit of a saw. I think I should probably get some interesting stuff swapping these around. Uh, let me kind of take it out. But I used the, the f filter ADSR assignment to take out the lead and now I can swap this around all together. Bring it back in. the way that phaser is sounding through that resonance or with the resonance is sounding through the phaser it's like it's got this natural kind of groove to it i think that's about as much as i can play with it reasonably in this context i hope that you've enjoyed this let's play thank you very much to all my patreon patrons who make these videos possible as a reminder people who do patronize me here on uh, let's plays or on the site get uh, no ads on the website and uh, you get special patron flair whenever you make a comment so thank you very much take it easy folks
So right there, what I just did, you couldn't plan for. You couldn't like think in your head, ah, a 13.07 ratio is perfect, right? Like nobody could figure that out. What I did was just play with the knobs. And that's all it really takes to figure out good patches is an understanding of how the modulators are modulating each other in the chain. And that's something you just kind of learn with practice and then play with a couple of knobs and you get an interesting thick sound like that. There's one other section here that can sometimes get a little crazy, and that's the jitter, where it's going to change not just the playback rate, but it, it'll jump back and forth across, so that it, in some instances that can just sound too muddy, but in this case, I think that's going to actually sound really cool. So let's see what happens here. And that was serendipitous. I had no idea it was going to be that cool. That adds a whole extra layer of haunting to it. Oh my god, that... Okay, that's done. Let's move on. <laughs> 